third episode of Hungry Guys. In today's vlog, guys, and we are going to talk the most requested uh, review. No, uh, there are many interested in KR Y two hundred CC. Now we have here the KR Y one fifty CC. So we have the opportunity to uh, review it. Uh, we're gonna go check out the bikes, the specs. Niya. So stay tuned, guys. Okay guys, before we start, please do hit that like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I post a new video. Shoutout muna tayo kay Dan Roof. Thank you for watching bro. Tsaka kay Carl Robert Piamonte. Thank you for watching bro. Okay, so let's start with the headlight. The headlight is a compact headlight with a halogen bulb. It pretty much looks the same as the KRY200cc. Riders, say goodbye to those ugly fenders because Susie just came up with a very nice fender. Now when it comes to the console gauges, Rusi has this reputation of making a very nice and compact digital gauges. The handlebar and the butterfly as well as the T-Pose has a very premium look. It has an electric start as well as the fast throttle cable with it. The light controls, they're okay but I think they can do better. Fuel capacity is at 5.5 liters and the fuel consumption estimated is at 40 to 45 kilometers per liter. It has that inverted fork that we see in all of the Rusi dirt bike lineups. Oh yeah, and by the way, it also comes with a front fork uh, cover. Tire size for the front is uh, 18 and we have a uh, dual caliper piston brake with a 35 mm disc rotor and the wire that you see here it's the electronic uh, wire for the speedometer so the Rusi is generous enough to put an obby tires on this bike so our turn signals are already LED lights and the choke lever is perfectly placed on the top of the clutch lever tire size for the rear is 110 by 90 by 16 it has a single caliper piston with a 24 mm disc rotor it comes with a very rigid and tough looking swing arm with an adjustable monoshock suspension for the rear with 149cc air-cooled pushrod type engine with the maximum power output of 5.5 kilowatts per 8500 rpm and the maximum torque of 6 nm at 8000 rpm it also has that advanced cooling system for the exhaust Our KRY150cc is equipped with a wet clutch and a 5-speed transmission. Fuel system is still carbureted. It has a seat height of 780 mm and a ground clearance of 270 mm. LED lights for the turn signals at the rear as well. And of course, we have that compact LED tail light with the Rusi in-house manufactured pipe. So yun guys, si Rusi KRY 150cc natin. No? Na pala, the price is uh, 65,500 pesos. No, almost the same price. Actually, the same price of KRZ 200cc uh, mas newer version and uh, newer model kasi to si KRY kasi sa KRZ kaya pareho sila ng presyo ok guys so that will be it for the review of our KRY 150cc uh, 
it's really a nice bike guys no? if you ask me about the build uh, it is built really solid so okay din siya uh, it really depends uh, on how you take care of your bike uh, the maintenance of the bike is uh, pretty low cost so nasa sayo na lang yun nasa rider na lang nasa gagamit ko uh, paano siya mag take care ng bike niya so I guess that will be it for this episode guys thank you for watching and if you have any comments uh, about the bike or any questions at all please do comment in the comment section below and we're gonna try to answer those questions and if you have any suggestions about the vlog please do comment on the comment suggestions and I will look into it uh, again thank you for watching and please do hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't yet and please do click the link of our other videos and We'll see you in my next episode. So again, this is Joel saying ride hard, ride safe, peace out.